Okay, so uh, today I'm going to be painting uh, the mini for my monk character, Aure. Uh, this is her current character sketch, though her mini I made a long time ago. I designed a long time ago, uh, back when I had her as a fighter instead of a monk, so it looks quite different. But uh, just since I already have this and it's already primed, I might as well combine you know, the look from this with what we have here on the mini. So let's get cracking. Okay. Since there's a discrepancy between my uh, sketch and my mini, for simplicity's sake, I decided to, I made a quick sketch, uh, this is really fast, of what the mini looks like and, and some of the details that are in it. Um, and I've marked down what colors I used for the sketch. And so I'm going to take them from here and I'm going to test them in different places on here and see, uh, roughly map out where I want uh, my paints to go. Okay, so I maybe went a little overboard with my planning, but I'm kind of liking how this is looking. It's uh, different enough, you know, not quite the same, but uh, I'm going to have, I've planned out that the armor parts here, like the breastplate, the uh, uh, greaves here. I don't know what to call this, kneecap armor? Hmm. Uh, all of those are going to be kind of a bronzy color with uh, golden details along the edges where on the mini, let me grab her, there's kind of those raised parts that really just call out for having extra little details. Um, and then I'm gonna keep the blue that I had from the, the hem here. That I'm gonna add in as some detailing on this middle kind of like underbust corset part, just to kind of highlight it in the central mass. Uh, the yellow cloth is gonna become the yellow cape. Uh, and red pants, red pants, all right. I think we're just about ready to start. Uh, I'm not quite finished with her just yet, but I wanted to show you some of the progress I made. Uh, as you can see, as I was painting, uh, I followed my guide here pretty closely with a few exceptions. As I told you, my sketch here is fairly rough, just basic outlining of the details, the major details I could see on here, but there are some that I did not include in my sketch. For example, uh, the cape on this character has kind of this lining that I wanted to bring that blue color here uh, that on my original sketch was on the the kind of that front tabard part. I wanted to bring that back into the, the back of the mini so that as you turn the figure, colors are fairly consistent. You know, you don't want it to look like uh, colors were chosen at random. You want them to kind of come back together. You want them to feel, you want some continuity. And so I added that blue to the back here, and it actually gave this yellow cape some really nice, like it's a nice uh, contrast between these two. So far I'm fairly happy with this. All right, I'll come back to you guys when I'm finished. Here she is, all complete. Every detail added. The last thing I need to do is to Add a coat of varnish, matte varnish, to the top to protect her. But that's it, guys. So we went from our original design here on the paper. All right. And this is the monk version of the character that didn't quite fit the mini. So I redrew it real quick. The uh, quick map of what colors I wanted to use, what details I wanted to bring out. Uh, so that the, the two pictures, the two designs looked similar, uh, but made sense based on the different, the class differences and the outfit differences. And then as I painted, some other details came up and I kept with this color harmony and uh, just remixing this original design to suit a mini that was a little bit different. And I'm very happy with the results. All right. Well, that's it, everybody. Um, I'll probably post more videos about mini painting since I'm doing it constantly and I have no self-control. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, but that's it for this one. All right, guys. Have fun. Go make some stuff and, you know, maybe design your own minis. All right. Later.